Oh, this looks beautiful. I love how you just kind of stumble across it. Isn't that cool? Oh, you got a super cool log up there to start it. Yeah. Another log over here. Yeah. Wow. On the ground. been in the family this yeah, home for 50 years oh my gosh you grew up here yes that's so cool so this is a big change it's a huge change this is probably the third incarnation of the backyard uh-huh yeah over 50 years i would imagine So you actually had a wedding back here? Yeah, my niece last year got married back here. Not bad. You're like, sure, I have a wedding in our backyard. Exactly. You know you have a nice property when you have family members that want to get married in your property. So where are we at, Chad? Virginia Robinson Gardens. It's uh, right. from Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. and it's an estate that the Virginian, the Robinson May family mm -hmm. bought 100 years ago. They bought this property, and they planted all these king palms here, which are pretty <laughs> amazing. Uh, yeah, you can't even get them in the frame. From Queensland, Australia, and they're uh, the biggest collection of king palm anywhere in the world other than Queensland, Australia. All right, hey, and that's book. Dominique. And I'm Greg Whitstock the Ponga. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock the Ponga, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyles. And we're traveling with California Waterscapes today, showcasing their work. So let's check out a unique project. Certified Wildlife Habitat, and it's used now for tours and weddings and things like that, right? Yeah, it's owned by the city of Beverly Hills. And you built it right down there. I can see it. I can see it right through the trees. All the way down there. He looks like a kind of guy that would get people to donate. Wow, so these are all the king palms you were talking about? Yeah. Wow. These are all the king palms. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. With all the shoots, branches that become roots. Oh, you got a pondless here. Oh, this looks beautiful. I love how you just kind of stumble across it. Isn't that cool? Oh, you got a super cool log up there to start it. Yeah. Another log over here. Yeah. Wow. The on the ground, on the floor. Ooh. Yeah, and that this is the only mechanical thing you can see that tells you if it's filled. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Look at this garden. What I love about this, Chad, it's something to go to at the end of this long walkway. Look at that water quality, that cool, I think that's a duck house, just perfect. Oh, there it is. It's an albino catfish. It's oh catfish. my gosh. He doesn't leave that little spot, that's his territory. Yeah. There was a pond down here one time, so they wanted to recreate that and make it look as natural as possible. Here we have a subwater level wetland filter over here. That's how it stays so clear That's is a wetland. That's how it stays so mm -hmm. clear and still, because the water is just percolating through the wetland filter and not going over a waterfall. How did you build it? Because I'm looking at this slope and I'm wondering, how did you get the rocks down here? We had to take the rock down the driveway and pretty much a straight shot through these palm trees all the way up to the top. It was basically a free for all, rocks rolling down the hill and gravel kind of sledding like dog sledding down the hill with your <laughs> wheelbarrow hanging on and we got all the rocks down here one by one we had to actually build this whole oh, we you, you built up a wall. Wall. We, yep. to, we basically did a cut and fill type of situation here as we we're digging down the water line of the pond actually determined the depth of this because mm -hmm. we just kept digging until we had enough dirt until we hit the height that we needed to do for the it, wall it is terrific and so this for me is your geez we met in the early 2000s Chad yeah. and I. You know where we met? Inc. 500. No, that was nope. my dad. Uh, you and I met in Atlanta, Georgia. 
Yeah. At Pondominium. We were at an actual trade show at Pondominium. He was not buying, you were actually buying products from Pond Supplies of America, which was my no. father's business. We were competitors, he was my first competitor. And I said, why aren't you doing business with us? And you said, I want to do business with you because you were very curious on where you would wind up in the top 100 contracts. Correct, yeah. We were doing a lot of ponds back then, just like we are now. And yep. I remember opening up all the Aquascaper magazines and I would see guys' names in there and you used to put how much they yep. used to buy in there. And I'd be like, how much should we buy from uh, Pond Sweep America? And I'd calculate all the numbers and I think I was maybe in second place and I wasn't even trying. So we needed to work together. So that uh, for the last five, 15 years, yep. we've been working together. Started off with Pacific Outdoor Living with Chad, Chad's dad Terry, and then Chad came over and started California Waterscapes probably Correct. how many years ago now? Well, we started California Waterscapes actually before Pacific Outdoor Living. Mm -hmm. And I ran into the landscape business a little bit heavy there in the 2000s. And then now the last five years, we just started pouring on the coals, California Waterscapes again. Because this is a passionate pond guy. Passionate pond guy, passionate pond guy. We're always looking for people that have a passion for what we do. We need more people that are passionate like Chad and California Waterscapes. They do magnificent paradises like this. Good job, my friend. Thank you, brother. So this is kind of a seating area here. They do a lot of educational, teach kids about ecosystems and natural habitat and indigenous plants to California. So they sit down with kids here and they give a little speech on ponds and ecosystems and things like that. So. I am somewhere in California. We just left Beverly Hills, drove for 10 minutes, so we're pretty close to Beverly Hills. So behind this gate, Chad Morrill from California Waterscapes just went. Oh, oh, oh yeah, look at this. Wow. So Chad, where are we at? We are in Bel Air, California. Bel Air, okay. And look at this. Yes, we are at James's house. Yeah, like he said, he was gonna explain to you there was basically nothing here, right? This was the yeah, little we, valley. We had a pool and then we had a rock garden that was separated by a fence. And we never really came out to use the area. We didn't have a nice seating area or anything. So I've always wanted a koi pond. And if I was gonna put one in, I wanted a large koi pond. You got it. And I wanted a place where people would like to hang out and just relax. I love how that's cantilevered there. In the shade, with the pool on one side and the koi pond on the other. Exactly, and then we put a barbecue pit on the other side. So last summer when we just put it in, family was coming over two, three times a month on the weekends to hang out. And so everybody likes it, the koi. You got some beautiful koi down there. Yes. Look at how excited they are. So how has it been living with it now for a year and a half? It's been easy peasy. Nice so, to do. So I mean, the uh, filter boxes, all I do is once a month clean out the filters. Uh -huh. Yeah, the skimmers over here right, catching the two skimmers. skimmers. Skimmer on this side, skimmer on this side. You got an automatic doser for the yes. water so that yes. you keep the water quality up. So it's low maintenance. Very low maintenance. That's what we like to hear. So Chad, what was the story here? How did you end up designing this masterpiece? I mean, it truly well, we, is. This is a project that we work with our sister company, Pacific Outdoor Living, okay. with actually, with Garrett, who was a designer on this project. And he came up with kind of a design with the pond and got with James and came up with a, a way to fit in the barbecue area, the pool, and the outdoor seating Oh, area. I love it, yeah. This has been the family of this yeah, home. we've been here for over 50 years. Oh my gosh, you grew up here? Yes. Yeah. That's so cool, so this is a big change. It's a huge change. This is probably the third incarnation of the backyard. Uh-huh, yeah, over 50 years, I would imagine. Outstanding. So you actually had a wedding back here? Yeah, my niece last year got married back here. Not bad. That's pretty cool. She said, asked if you could have it. You're like, sure, I have a wedding in our backyard. Exactly. You know you have a nice property when you have family members that want to get married in your property. That's pretty awesome. So they have a net and they have a scarecrow, which is a water control jet to keep the herons out because they had this pond for over a year, not a single time, and then a heron came and he loves his fish. So he put a net on, so he can just pop the net right over and then the automatic sprinkler that handles motion control. Anything that moves, it sprays.
So this is a Grande Bio Falls up here. Normally in a pond this big, you either have to do a Grande Bio Falls or a wetland. They choose to use a Grande Bio Falls. Water comes down here and recirculates because it's so big between two skimmers, a skimmer there and a skimmer there. This whole backyard was redone. Like I said, the family's lived here for 50 years, but what an impact, look at this. The creeping Jenny, the creeping Jenny will soften up the edges and then you want a backdrop. Okay, now this is just a backdrop here. Talk about that being in a valley like this, how amazing. But what an incredible place to sit over here and to be able to look back and see that there's nothing that you could do that would have as big of an impact as a water feature in here. And what I love about these videos is going out and seeing, I didn't know what was on the other side of that door. I don't even know what town I'm in because I'm just going around with California waterscapes. This is about as an impressive a water feature as you could put in a place like this. It fits the theme. I love the backyard. I love the koi. I love the hardscape. I love how it's cantilevered over it. The patio that was put around the pool. Everything, it's just living the aquascape lifestyle personified. What can I say? I love my job.